This video will demonstrate the process of connecting and configuring the base station through the web UI. There are two ways in which you may configure the R750 inside of the web UI. If a crossover cable is available, as well as the 57168 adapter, connect one end of the cable to the R750 and the other to a laptop. On the R750 display, scroll down until the Ethernet IP is shown. Type the address into a web browser on the laptop. If this is the first time the web UI is being used, type admin for the username and password, all lowercase, for the password. You can also connect the R750 via Wi-Fi with a laptop or smart device. To find the Wi-Fi IP, either scroll down on the R750 display or hit escape to display a QR code. Once scanned, your smartphone or tablet will connect to the R750 Wi-Fi and will open a web browser that connects to the IP address. Follow the login instructions mentioned earlier. It is also possible to connect a laptop to the R750 Wi-Fi signal. It should be noted that most laptops only contain one Wi-Fi card, meaning you will most likely not be able to connect to the R750 Wi-Fi channel as well as your standard Wi-Fi connection for internet access. To connect, power on the R750. Then open your laptop's Wi-Fi settings and connect to the R750. The Wi-Fi name will be Trimble GNSS, followed by the last four digits of the serial number on the unit. Once connected, proceed to the web UI using a web browser. The IP can be found on the faceplate by scrolling down to view the Wi-Fi access point IP address. For a mobile base station, it is suggested to complete a five minute auto average. Navigate to the receiver configuration screen and then the reference station. From there, tap on here to get a current location. At the bottom of the view, check auto average and then adjust the time range for an average position. In this case, we will use 300 seconds to record our five minute average. Click OK to begin the auto average. A countdown timer will now appear on the reference station window. The auto averaging values will automatically populate in the reference position when completed. To verify, click on receiver configuration and view the latitude, longitude, and elevation. For permanent base station installations, a 24 hour log is recommended. To complete this setup, go to the data logging tab and tap on new session. Enter a session name such as DF1 for default one. Then check mark the enable box. Set the schedule to once and enter your preferred start date and time. Change the duration to 1440 minutes or 24 hours and the measurement interval to 30 seconds. The position interval should be set at 10 minutes. If all other settings are correct, click OK. Once inside the start time window, the data logging page should display logging as its current status. After the log is complete, retrieve the data file by going to the data logging tab and click on internal. The T02 file can be downloaded by clicking on the file name. Save the file to your hard drive. After saving the T02 file, use the Trimble CenterPoint Post Processing Service to obtain your receiver's precise location. Go to TrimbleRTX.com and create a website registration. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Post Processing. Complete the required information, such as selecting the datum to be used, the tectonic plate where the survey was conducted, or leave it as auto-detect, and finally, upload the file and enter your email address and click on Process. An email confirmation will be sent stating that the file has been received. 
Once the file has been processed and returned in the format, such as the example at the bottom of this slide, record the latitude, longitude, and elevation, and save for future reference. These values can be placed into the R750 via the web UI under the Reference Station tab, which is found under the Receiver Configuration dropdown, or they can be manually inputted through the faceplate, which is found by tapping on the Enter button selecting Reference Station, and entering the proper values. In summary, follow these steps on the left to correctly set a 5-minute average for a mobile base station, and the steps on the right to properly configure the data download for a fixed base. To find more information about the R750 base station, visit this link or scan the QR code with your smart device. Thank you for watching part four of a five part series. If you have any questions or comments, please email trainingcf at trimble.com.